Good afternoon and welcome to your OCAA women's soccer match. We're in the final stretch as we reach for the playoffs as rivals Humber and Sheridan face off. I'm Brendan Nichols alongside my broadcast partner, Andrew Milani. Andrew, that was an explosive game we saw between the men's Humber and Sheridan. Yeah, just an absolute insane matchup we watched uh, right here before for the men's match. Five cards given out, two yellow on both Humber and Sheridan, and one controversial red card for Humber. Yeah, that red card really snuffed out all the momentum Humber had going into that one. Looked like they might have been able to tie that one up, but hard to come back when you're down a man. Absolutely. Now for the women's, Humber enters this game second in the West Division and the winner of the last four games. Though to be fair, same for Sheridan. Now, Sheridan uh, leads with 23 goals for and two against, meaning they got a strong defense, but Humber has 19 and six against. Now, these, these goals both come from the Redeemer game where Humber got four goals and Sheridan got eight. So I can't say that I consider this gap in goals too strong considering that Redeemer has a little bit of a weak defense. Yeah, Redeemer is sitting in last place. Not too much of a test for these Humber Hawks. This was going to be a real test here against these Sheridan Bruins. It's going to be interesting how these two real offensive and defensive dynamos kind of match up against each other here tonight. A very strong offensive team on both sides, but with only two goals against Sheridan's going in, probably feeling very confident. Yeah, they've only allowed goals in one game. They're only loss of the season. We're going to see how they match up here against a very strong Humber Hawks team as the national anthem just wraps up and the starting 11 will shake hands with each other. Absolutely. Now, Humber... Uh, Humber and Sheridan have yet to play. Every team only plays one game against each other in the whole season. So this will be a real test to see what can be accomplished in the playoffs and perhaps even provincially. Yeah, we'll see. These two teams certainly have the potential to meet up in the OCAA postseason tournament. Top four teams from each division get in. And as it stands right now, both these teams would get into the playoffs. So this could be a potential playoff preview. Definitely a lot of bragging rights on the line here tonight. These two teams don't live too far away from each other. Sheridan and Humber both in Toronto. Yes, yeah, so if we were going to call this game anything, we would be calling uh, title rights for Queens of Toronto. Sounds about right. Both these teams are definitely going to be fired up off the hop in this one. Definitely going to expect to see a lot of energy both these teams should be pressing for the first goal. These girls definitely don't want to be playing from behind. Oh, this is a fierce rivalry as well, and I'm sure after seeing the men play, both teams are thinking they're about to stake their claim. Why not? Humber girls definitely fired up. The women. Oh, Bruins fired up too. Wouldn't you know it? Sheridan seems to have a habit of trying to be louder than Humber. <laughs> This isn't a loudness contest, though, so we'll see how that affects the game. Although communication will be key here today, so we'll keep an eye on that. That was one of the things for the men for Humber that they kind of lost a hold on. The communication was down throughout the game. Started off real strong, but really looked deflated after that early Sheridan goal. You are completely right, Andrew, and I'm hoping to see more soft touches uh, from the Humber girls as we have seen before, and I'm hoping that communication is key and on point. Yeah, it should be a simple game plan. Just find the open person, you know, just pass it up. Don't try and do anything too fancy, but, of course, if you do do fan something fancy and it pays off, why not? Both uh, Sheridan and Humber winning their last four games, so someone here is walking away with a broken winning streak. We should mention, too, Humber just entered the national rankings, ranked number 12 after being unranked for the first three weeks. Of course, a win here would... Pretty much guarantee that you're going to be on those rankings again next week. Sheridan still unranked, trying to get on there. A lot of plot lines brewing here tonight. A lot of things to prove, Andrew. One of these games, this is definitely for both these teams, the game that you have circled on the calendar. Doesn't get much bigger than this. Humber takes their positions. And they'll get the first possession here tonight.
and the ball is in play. We see a cross forward, immediately out to be thrown in by Sheridan. Giving away early on, but that's okay. Sheridan immediately with the attack. Passed forward. A little wide there. Yeah, she was looking for Spratt. Missed her by a lot, though. Spratt fifth in all-time Humber goal. Still looking for her first on the year. Playing more of a wing role this year. On Sheridan, we'll be keeping it out for Victoria Rodriguez, who has seven goals this season. Kathy Cavero with three. And Madison Roberts also with three. Free kick and some good real estate here. Header missed by 19 on Sheridan. Leah Spence fighting for that one. She'll come away with it. Pass back to 18 Humber. Sheridan applying a lot of good defensive pressure here. A lot of good offensive pressure as well. To get the ball back. Could be a chance here. And nothing. Strong defense, easily pushed out. That'll be a corner kick for the Bruins, though, so Hawks not quite out of it yet. Sheridan trying to get the early goal. With a minute 53, I would hope they're not out of it. <laughs> Cross caught by the keeper. Yeah, Fiore's got great hands. She's a real rock there in the Humber net. And she's going to hoof it to midfield. Pass up the side. Pressure in the box. Spratt with a nice pass. Kick. And it's wide. Nice attempt there, though. To keep the game chances like that, Humber's going to score. You're not wrong. There's some quote by some hockey player about 100% of the shots you take. I believe that was a Michael Scott quote. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a great chance there for Zanardi. Fourth all-time in Humber goals, 24-3 and three on, the three on the season. Good header from Sheridan up to midfield. Humber possesses ball again, and it will be a throw-in. Back across the center. Humber with a throw in in the keeper's end, in the Sheridan keeper's end. Humber with a chance, and it's kicked away. Possession, possession will change back to Humber. Yeah, Sheridan was trying to get a quick counterattack going, though, but just ran out of real estate there on the far side. Good ball control. Kicked up to the forward. Humber regains control. Sheridan regains control. Humber with the attack. Could be a chance here. Scuffed it a little. He'll be kicked off to the side for a throw-in. Beesby with a good defensive play there to knock it out of bounds. Thompson took the throw in quickly. And that is a corner kick for Humber. Aaliyah Spence is going to take it. Let's see how effective she is in the box. She's got a lot of options there in the 18 yard box. Not 
Knocked away. Good control by Humber, but it's kicked right directly to the keeper. Not a bad idea there by Medeiros. She'll hoof it past midfield. And that and Sheridan will retain control of the ball. It's going to be a throw in. I believe that's a kick, Andrew. Or excuse me, you're right, that will be a free kick. Humber with the goal kick. Yeah, that one was struck well wide of the net. And Fiore will get the chance for the goal kick. Humber taking no chances, putting Fiore in the net. Putting their best foot forward. Yeah, why not? You got one of the best teams in the league coming into your barn. Why not put your best keeper in the cage? This is not a training game. This is not a time to warp, warm up the first years. This is a time to send a message. The best one you can. Yeah, we're here to win. We're here for bragging rights. Sheridan playing strong defensive options in their end. Passing back to the keeper. Yeah, both these teams not afraid to pass it back to the keeper. We'll see if that becomes a or if that strategy stays alive for this entire match. We will see. As you and I both know, uh, keepers like to show how well they can play footsies, and that can sometimes cost an entire team. Can sometimes bite you in the butt. I'll tell you that. Another goal kick for Humber keeper, Fior. Humber retains control and a breakaway. Yes, Pratt could be away. Gets fancy with it, goes to the center. But Sheridan Keeper will retain control and pass it to the defense. Bernard with the throw in. Scuffle at the line and Humber will come away with control for the throw in. A lot of back and forth in this game. No control not no clear dominant team as of yet. Yeah, both teams still trying to jockey for Real advantage here. Haven't seen too many big scoring chances yet. That's sure to change, though. Absolutely. Teams get worn down. Strategies change. People find holes in the armor. Yeah, in the world of college sports, it's usually the first team that's really able to make that big adjustment wins. Humber typically, as they play, other teams get exhausted. And in the second half, they really come away with more goals. Against Sheridan, though, a well old machine, it's hard to say if that'll be the same narrative. Yeah, Sheridan isn't your run-of-the-mill college team. They're here to win. Sheridan with the ball in Humber's end. That'll be a Humber throw in. Sheridan with a chance there for half a second, but Humber will retain control and have strong defense. Fiora with the goal kick.
to midfield. Spratt with a chance. Oh, Spratt could be away. Ooh. That's a nasty fall. Fouled there right in front of the box, and this is going to be a big free kick here. No call, though. No card. Yeah, a little surprising. Playing with different refs this time. Zanardi to take this free kick. And it looks like she's positioning herself to go for it all. Goes for it. Too high. Well over the net, but a good chance there by Zanardi. I like the effort. Absolutely. Sheridan, goal kick. Humber attacking once again. Chance here. Spence was almost away with a beautiful chance there. Keeper just grabbed on that. Humber with a slight breakaway to Spratt. Ah, and she'll scuff it to the keeper. Yeah, tough ball to control there. That was going making a hard line right for her feet. Just couldn't get the foot on that one to control it. It's rough to determine what kind of touch to use in those situations, especially with the spin that it had. The ball traveling over to the Humber side for the first time in a minute or two. Yeah, good point there, Brendan. Breakaway for Spratt. Just out of her, just out of her reach. Goalkeeper will walk it out, make the Humber players challenger. Humber wasting no time with the throw in. Footsies and ball control in the Humber end, and that'll be a goal kick. Goalkeeper kicks it right to Sheridan. But it went off her own player. Sheridan kicking the ball off the back of uh, one of their own players. That'll be a kick for Humber. Chance for Humber to grab back momentum here. Which they've seemed to have maintained for the last five minutes, if not ten. But another free kick for Sheridan. Free kick from center field. Feesby's going to take it. Launched into the box. Fury, nice job knocking that one away. Oh, no, she didn't. Humber goal kick despite cries from the Sheridan Bents that she didn't touch the ball. Lob to Spratt. Humber throwing at midfield. Another throw in for Humber in Sheridan's defensive end.
Scuffle in Sheridan's end. And it will result in a foul. Yes, Pratt playing the body there. Results in a foul and a free kick. Humber with ball control at midfield. Up to Spratt. That's Zanardi. Breakaway for Humber. That'll Tough. be a goal kick. Oh, no, never mind. It's still inbound. That'll be a throw-in for Humber. Spence had a nice opportunity there, but played well there by her defender. Just ran out of space. Zanardi's going to take the throw in here. Heck of a throw into the box, and that'll be knocked away for a goal kick. No, that's going to be a corner. I'm sorry, corner kick. My apologies. That'll be Taylor Thompson taking the corner kick. She launches it into the center. Just past the post. Nice try there, though. Few scoring chances for here for the Hawks early on. 17 in the 17th minute in this game. Ball quickly moves to Humber's side. Humber regaining control, only to lose it again, only to gain it again. It seems neither team for the moment can get it past the middle. It's going to be a race for the ball. Humber's goalie, oh, Humber's goalie will kick it to Sheridan. Another race here. Stushnoff with it. She wins that one. Knocked down there, no foul. Feesby tries to get away. Sheridan beating Humber to the ball. Throw in from Humber's end. A lot of pressure in this game, Andrew. Not a lot of good, uh, shots on net. No, not from either end. Although I got to say, Humber's doing a better job translating their defensive pressure into good offense. Sheridan with some good defensive pressure, but having trouble finding their way through the Humber defense. Humber definitely with more offensive pressure at the moment, keeping the ball in Sheridan's end more often than not. Keeper will kick it up to midfield, only to be recovered by Humber. Oh, nice job there. Spratt was almost away, but just out of her reach. And we've seen that a couple of times now where the uh, where the midfielders will put it just a little bit past what the forwards can get to. Yeah, it was raining uh, here earlier on today. I wonder if that wet field is playing a part in that. I'm sure it's certainly an influence. Chance here. Directly into the hands of Fiore, and she'll drop kick that all the way to the center. Yeah, Fiore was set up perfectly for that shot. Barely had to move. Sheridan regains ball control. Only to shoot it deep into Humber's end. That's going to be a throw in for Humber. Looks like we're going to get an early substitution here. Sophia Inglés checking into this one. Who's going to come off, though? It's Emma Stushnoff coming off. I see she's got a brace on her leg. Perhaps they don't want to test her too early. 
Sharon with control. Hoofs it to Humber, who passes back and forth to each other in the air, have regained control in their own end. Another race for the ball there. Feesby comes up with that one. Glez and Feesby tied up there. It's going to be a free kick going the way of the Bruins. Sheridan and Humber battle for supremacy in Humber's end, and Humber will come away with the throw. Off the Sheridan head. Kicks Looks back to the keeper to gain a little control so Sheridan can get some momentum going. And Sheridan's keeper's got such a foot on her. She just hoofs it. Yeah, she's been, well, it's been no wonder that they've been passing it back to her for an option with when she's got a cannon like that back there. Absolutely. You can get yourself set up in all sorts of positions deep in the enemy's end when you can just launch the ball like that. Yeah, you see in some soccer games, especially at the lower levels, when you have a goalie that isn't able to blast the ball up that much, it could be really detrimental because he really, most of the time, have to get a defender to take those goal kicks. But obviously not an issue here for the Bruins. Both teams struggling to get anything started here as we're in the 22nd minute of this game. A lot of defensive play, which I can't blame them for. It's a lot of respect that both these teams have for each other. Nobody wants to go home with a loss today. Yeah, it's a feeling out process too, Brendan. Absolutely. Big takeaway there by Feesby. She's been pretty good to start this one. Rush to the ball in Humber's end. And Sheridan will come away with a throw. Right by the corner. You definitely prefer if you get that corner kick, but I'm sure they'll take the throw. Yeah, still in a dangerous territory of the field. That one's going to have to be redone. Sheridan with control in Humber's end. Good passes back and forth. Chance here. Not enough power behind that ball, and it goes straight to Fiore. Yeah, that one trickled just right to Fiore. No problems there. Fiore will huff it right to center field. Humber still maintaining control. Iglesias. Iglesias on the ball, but she steps just over it. It'll be kicked out. Humber retains the ball in Sheridan's end. Yeah, it looks like they're really trying to feed the ball to Inglez early on, trying to take advantage of her size. Let's see if it works. And unfortunately, they lose control of the ball, and that'll be a throw-in for Sheridan in their end. Humber retains control of the ball in Sheridan's end. It'll be a throw in. There's Spence with the ball. Oop, and she knocks it out. Four throw ins in 15 seconds. That's a lot of throw ins. I wonder what the record is. It's got to be pretty close. Glace with the ball to Sheridan. Nice first touch there by Inglez, just couldn't control it though. Nice patience there on Humber's part to... And that will draw a foul and a free kick for Humber, who will waste no time setting it up and, and shooting it deep into Humber's end. A little into Sheridan's end, I'm sorry. I'm a little surprised ref didn't play advantage there, but that's the way it goes. Oh, and wow. that's a goal! 
That's a clean goal by Brianna Senfer. Senefner. Yeah, just Honestly, a, Katarina Medeiros. Yeah, just a beautiful strike there. And here comes the replay. Good ball control. Takes her time. Perfectly lined up off the fingertips and in. We're going to take another look at it from a different angle. Yeah, that one went right into the corner. So we'll get a look at the GoPro shot from behind the net. Technical difficulties here in the H HSN nest, but we will go directly back to the game. Humber with the ball in Sheridan's end. Goal kick from Sheridan. Humber probably feeling themselves after that goal. Nice little lead. Obviously no time to rest with only a one goal lead against such a tough opponent, but must yep. feel nice. Yeah, we saw last time Sheridan came back pretty quickly after Humber one nothing lead. And that will draw a foul and a free kick for Sheridan. Number 19 taking most of the free kicks. That's Nevada fees beyond Sheridan. She's got quite the leg on her. Yeah, I'll expect she'll take all those free kicks, especially in their own end. A foul and a free kick for Sheridan. Looks like Stushnoff's coming back into this game. But who will she come on for? I see no takers yet, perhaps after this free kick. Strong kick right into the paws of Fiore. She has great positioning. She always seems to know where it's going to be. Just great instincts. Yeah, good leader. Good game sense. And she will hoof it past midfield to Iglesias. Ball back to the Humber keeper, only to be lobbed center field. But Sheridan's not done yet as they attempt to continue to apply pressure and attack. It's going to be Humber ball. It's always interesting how a team can have a goal go in and, and be even more fired up than before. Some teams just respond better to adversity. They need that adversity sometimes. And if the Sheridan women's are anything like the Sheridan men's, that's certainly the case. Good header by Lee side. Feesby, I apologize. Spence looking to catch that breakaway, but just couldn't make it in there in time. Sheridan goalkeeper will kick it back across midfield. Once again, what a foot. Humber almost losing control. But will retain it and move the ball across midfield. There's a glaze in front of the net, but the Sheridan goalkeeper will keep it. Yeah, good job there by Feesby to keep her away from it. Prevented a real good scoring chance there. Could have made it 2 nothing. And Sher Sheridan is not demotivated. They continue to attack and apply as much pressure as they're allowed. I'm sure some of that motivation coming from that men's victory from their side. Wouldn't be surprised. It's a strong motivator. You can't let the, uh, the other team show you up, right? Yeah, certainly they want to go for that fun bus ride home with the double victory. 
Denardi almost came up with it there. Ooh, almost a nice give and go to Spratt. And the ball continues to defensively bounce off Sheridan only to advance into Humber's zone. If Humber doesn't respond soon in offensive kind, we will see a goal from Sheridan. The longer you keep the, the ball in, in your opponent's end, the more likely you are to score. It's that simple. Yeah, that's a great point there, Brendan. Sheridan doing a good job with the pressure. Cross there. Glaze coming to pick it up. She's big and will not be pushed off the ball. Yeah, kind of similar to what the men have with uh, Allen there. Oh, absolutely. Sheridan's goalkeeper up and out so she can offensively push it back into Humber's end. But because of that, they'll lose control and Humber, Humber's keeper will go out to fetch the ball. Chance to slow things down here. Yeah, waste some time. Kill that clock. With 31 minutes, 15 seconds in the game, they have no reason to push. <laughs> Humber goalkeeper waiting until... Uh, Sheridan arrives to pick up the ball, waste some more time, drop kick it straight past center field once again. Sheridan from midfield, throw in. Sheridan with a chance. Almost got it with the spin move, but that'll be picked up by Humber. Ooh, and that's a slide tackle. And shouts erupt from the Sheridan bench as they do not like that call. They think that was fair play. Sheridan coach is saying that that was all ball, didn't get the player. He is not a happy camper. He is certainly not. But you got to stand up for your own team, right? I guess that's what you got to do as a coach. Whether the call is right or wrong, you got to stand up for the people who, uh, you coach. Free kick will go deep into Sheridan's end. Iglesias on the ball. They'll pass it back to the keeper who will launch it. Straight to Humber player. Be popped up, be caught by Spence. Oops, she's knocked off the ball. And that'll be out for a Humber throw in. Perhaps we'll see that sub that we've been mentioning earlier. Yeah, Stushnoff, we're getting ready to come back on. We'll get a substitution for Sheridan, too. Bianca Chamberlain about ready to enter this game. And Galezia, just a short shift for her. She's going to come off. No goals for her, but she added some great pressure and presence in the offensive line. Dushnoff taking her usual spot at the center forward. Humber throw in. Headed off Feesby. Out for a goal kick. That's going to be a corner kick. I mean, I, that's what I meant to say. My apologies. About to enter the 35th minute here. Chance there. Almost though, just on the goal line as the Sheridan keeper throws herself on it. She is not scared about taking kicks to the face. Let's see if that does anything to inspire the Bruins players trying to even up this one. Sheridan with a good offensive attack in Humber's end. We'll see the cross here, and it'll go off the Humber player for a corner kick. They'll try a give and go in the corner, see if they can get some momentum going. Fiore will just scoop it up, take her time. Yeah, she pounced on that one. 
No reason to play anything silly. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it safe. Sheridan with control at the moment, but quickly grasped by Humber. Only to be turned over. Only to be turned over again. Humber with the attack. Spratt had a lot of space. If the, they would have been able to get the ball to her, that would have been a goal. And that'll be a goal kick as Fiore just couldn't get there in time. I mean, a corner kick. Sheridan trying to get this one tied up before halftime. They'll go with the cross here. Another corner kick for Sheridan. Probably more of the sand. That looked like it was almost effective. It was, it was ripe for the plucking for Sheridan. This is a strong Hawks defense, though. There's a reason that the, uh, Humber has maintained ball control for most of the game. Christina Carvalho about ready to enter this one. We wait in anticipation, and it looks like Sheridan's ready to go. Just waiting on the referee. There it goes. Header. Not out of the danger area yet. Out of the box. Humber with control. Here comes Spratt. But she's beaten out by Feesby on Sheridan. Only to be passed back to the keeper. Keeper will play it up to her defense. But she's got to rush back because Humber is here. Pass back to the keeper. Humber not even bothering to challenge him. Why would they? Sheridan has to is the one that's worried about the time. Yeah, if you're Humber, you just want to play this half out safely. Maybe add another goal, but don't try and go too aggressive with it. Spratt with the breakaway. Maintaining control. As soon as I say that, pressure is added and the ball moves farther back to midfield. Oh, and now it's deep. Spratt's in the box. Spence just past the right post. Just a little wide. It's just a few inches away from being 2-0 here in the 39th minute. And I have to give Sheridan's 19 fees be some credit as she has been a solid pillar of defense for Sheridan. Yeah, that's a pattern we've seen here tonight. The main center back for the Sheridan team, men's and women's, has been spectacular tonight in prime form. It's easy to see why Sheridan has only let in three goals this whole season. One of which only being tonight. Yeah, when you got a great defensive stalwart back, back there, Seems like she's just been shutting everything down tonight. She's got speed and power. Off Spratt's head, back, and that will be a throw in at midfield for Sheridan, and they'll waste no time throwing it in. Yeah, Spratt knew immediately there that she made a mistake. Can be tough when you get that off the wrong part of your head. Oh, yeah, positioning is key. Good ball control on Sheridan's part. But the pressure will be applied by Humber offense. Medeiros pressuring the keeper. And that'll be a throw in just past center field on Sheridan's side. Humber taking the time. As we get close to the 40th minute of this game. Battle there on the far side will stay Humber Ball. Entering the closing stages of the first half. Straight to the Sheridan keeper. She'll drop kick, bomb it past center field. 
Straight to the Humber player. As Sheridan attempts to recover, and they will, only to lose it to Humber once again. This ball has a, so much back and forth at midfield. Sprat doing a good job losing her player there. Could Ooh. be a chance here. Nice little spin on the ball, keeping it inbound. Stashnoff's away. And? Oh, oh man. Good save. Fingertips. Yeah, that was a great play by Zanardi to get, to really create that opportunity. Played the body well away from her defender. Got that through ball away. But the keeper just getting a hand on that one. But that'll set up a corner kick, so another opportunity here for the Hawks. Humber's communication being strong in this game. Header, but it's wide. Spratton with the ball, but what can she do with it? She loses her defenders, but is forced to back up. Losing control of the ball to Sheridan, who is now at midfield. Only one player, though. She'll have to wait for her team to catch up. Sheridan loses control of the ball once again at midfield. This really is no man's land in this game. Both teams struggling to keep momentum. That'll be a breakaway for Sheridan. That'll be a free kick as it appears that there was a light tripping from the Humber player on the Sheridan player. They're right at the edge of the box. This is going to be a big scoring opportunity to tie, to tie this one up for the Bruins. 42 minutes into the game, we're running low on time, and I can't imagine since there's been, there hasn't been much stoppage in this, so I can't imagine there'll be a lot of extra minutes tagged on. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the ref blew the whistle right at the 45 mark. And it's up and wide. Yeah, it went over everybody. Not quite sure what, what she was trying to go for there. Fiori, goal kick. <laughs> Fiori launching, launching it just short of midfield. It'll be knocked out for Humber Ball. Here comes the fast throw in. Oh, it was an already beautiful move there to get past a couple players. Ooh, through ball. Shushnov couldn't get to it, though. Be knocked out deep and shared an end for the throw in. Zanardi's having a game here tonight. Wouldn't be surprised if she chipped in a goal or two when all's said and done. Her ball control is out of this world this game. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. She's in Humber's fourth time, fourth all-time leading score for nothing. And look at that throw in straight to the box. There's Zanardi again. Good axe kick backwards, but it'll reap no rewards as Sheridan regains control of the ball and kicks it out for a Humber throw in. Out for another throw in. Humber moving very slowly up the field. It's almost like watching a game of American football. That's a good point. But Feesby there making a good play, taking no chances, making sure it goes out of bounds. Keeper going for it. Very close there. Half a second sooner, Humber would have been on the ball, possibly with a goal. Final minute here in the first half. Sheridan pressing. Humber beats Sheridan in the ball and will get tripped, but no call. Jory's going to pick that one up, buying herself six seconds. Might as well. She'll drop kick it once again. That hasn't been punished yet, this long lob past center field. Off the Humber head and back, 
deep into their own end. That's going to be a pass to Fiore, who's going to just rocket it to center field. That should just about do it for the half. Maybe a chance for one more play here. Spratt's going to go for it. She'll lose control. And Sheridan will regain. But it's still deep in their end, and there's nothing that they can do to push it back. Throw in for Humber deep in Sheridan's end. That'll be an offside free kick for Sheridan. Goalkeeper will take it. Humber coach Mauro Ongaro telling his players to drop back. Now we'll do it for the first half. Andrew, thoughts as we uh, finish up here? Pretty evenly contested first half, although Humber was really the only one that was able to get anything going offensively. Humber really, or Sheridan rather, struggled in the Humber end, but both teams playing a strong defensive game. Definitely. Uh, Sheridan would move into Humber's end, and they'd just see a sea of white every time, just to hap not many breakaways, just a lot of bodies that happen to be in the way. Let's take a look at the stats. Humber with nine attempts, Sheridan with four, five on target, three on target for Sheridan. Mostly even stats with the exception of attempts. Yeah, Humber getting a lot of attempts away, and that's good to see. That's what a healthy offense has, but Sheridan doing a good job getting their attempts on net, so we'll see if that balances out in the second half. And that'll be it for the first half. Please join us very shortly for the second.
And we are back for this Humber Hawks Sheridan Bruins rivalry game. I'm Brendan Nichols, and my broadcast partner is Andrew Milani. Andrew, thoughts on the first part of the game? Pretty even. Uh, like we said, uh, coming out of the first half, just Humber's been doing a better job offensively controlling the ball. Once Sheridan gets the ball into the Humber side, it's they've been having a lot of trouble just maneuvering their way through the Humber defense. So we're going to see if they make uh, any adjustments here coming into the second half otherwise I think it's going to be more of the same you're absolutely right Andrew it's a sea of white jersey players once the offense gets a little bit going for Sheridan and Humber has just had better control ball control and Sheridan starts with ball and once again we see a little bit of this scuffle pass back to the Sheridan goalkeeper Passed back again. Not afraid to pull that option. No, Sheridan just doesn't want to lose control of the ball. Might as well pick the option that they believe safest. That, that'll be lobbed into Humber End, who will quickly give up ground, but it'll be knocked out for a deep end Sheridan throw in. Sheridan passes it back and forth, retaining control. Free kick for Humber. They'll pass it back to Fiore, who will launch it to just before midfield. Humber losing control to Sheridan. Sheridan making careful short passes back and forth. Once again, rather ma to maintain control than push anything offensively and risk losing the ball with an unsafe option. Fiori walking it in. Humber goes to challenge. She launches it to midfield. Humber knocks it away. Oh 
And that'll be Humber Ball with a free kick. Once again, Sheridan does not like that. Seems to be a theme for the day. No, no arguments there. Chance here. Good ball oh control off the man. head, off the post. Spratt's got another shot. It'll be kicked away and out for Sheridan control for the throw in. No, that's going to be a free kick. Or is that going to be a throw in? That's yeah, going to be a free kick. You are completely right, Andrew. Humber with the attack. Zanardi fighting her way through. Knocked down the box. And the goalkeeper for Sheridan will let that lazily move past her so she can get that goal kick. Sheridan not concerned with time at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a corner kick. Offense and defense jockeying for position in the box. The ball is launched off the head of number 13 for Humber and a way to be collected by Sheridan. But Humber with the pressure. Humber still with control, moving it deeper and closer to the net. Spratton loses control, but that will be a corner kick for Humber, and they'll get another chance to score here, Andrew. Yeah, another chance here in a dangerous territory for the Hawks. Sheridan's got to watch out to keep handing Humber opportunities like this. At some point, they'll score. They already have, so why can't they add another? Another goal kick. Yeah, Sheridan catches a break there. Humber's unable to capitalize, but once again, just a dangerous game for Sheridan to play. They got a counterattack here. Sheridan's goalkeeper using that patented powerful leg to push the ball to midfield, only for Sheridan to lose control and Humber to come back with a small attack. Sheridan will pass back to their goalkeeper. Humber ready with the attack, but no dice as the goalkeeper kicks it just below midfield. Humber continues their attack as Sheridan scrambles. Goalkeeper will gain control and hoof it back to midfield. Past the center. Ball still in Humber's control, but with Sheridan pressuring them. Humber taking a little bit of time to walk the ball up the field. That'll be a lob past center. Close to the box. Sheridan will pass it back only so Sheridan goalkeeper can hoof it once again to the center. And Sheridan really struggling to get this ball past midfield. Only to have Humber kick it back. Even in ball control, Sheridan must retreat a little bit to make sure that they don't lose it. But now we see a little bit of an offensive push. Humber kicks the ball off Sheridan for a throw in. Humber in their own end. Perhaps feeling a little bit of the pressure, but they throw it to midfield. Stuffin. Yeah, Stuffin off in a battle there. And Sheridan comes away with the throw in at midfield. Off the Humber player and out. 12 yard advance for another throw in. Humber will lose control of the ball there, only to kick it out and give Sheridan another chance to throw it in. Same verse, second, second verse, same as the first, as Sheridan moves up 10 feet to throw the ball in. Sheridan defender, Sheridan, uh, Humber defenders kick the ball out. Feesby 
attempting to get control of the ball for Sheridan, but loses it only to go back to Humber. Ball in the air for 15 seconds as Humber heads it between, only to be knocked out for a throw in at midfield. Ooh, a little bit of a battle there going on. Small tussle. Off Strafsnov's head and down. That'll be considered offside, which will give Sheridan a free kick. Yeah, I've noticed Barnard for Sheridan's been a little chippy in this one. Chippy? Yeah, he's trying to get under her opponent's skin. Ah, I agree. A little, a little bit of a pest maybe would have been a better word. An irritating mosquito. <laughs> Pass midfield. Humber looks like it might have a chance, but Sheridan picks up the ball, passing it back to the goalkeeper to do that patented launch back to midfield. Perhaps gain some control of the ball. But Humber comes away with it. Deeks around. Sheridan defender passes it up. Cross. Here's a chance. Ooh, off the goalie. And that'll be a Humber corner kick. Yeah, nice little series though there. Madero's turned her defender inside out, leading to a great chance there by Zanardi. She waited just the amount appropriate amount of time, but the goalie could see where she was going and position herself accordingly. A yeah, great job at snuffing out that opportunity. Possible breakaway for Sheridan, but Humber is on the ball, and they'll pass it back to their keeper so they can kick it past midfield. Off Sheridan head, off Humber head, off Humber foot, only to main, be maintained control by Humber at midfield. That's going to be offside. Not a bad idea there by Zanardi to try and find Spratt. But Spratt just a few steps ahead of the defenders before the ball was kicked off. And this is a bit of a different game that we're seeing, Andrew. There's a lot more pressure by Humber and a lot less presence by Sheridan. Yeah, no kidding. Thankfully, Sheridan's defense bailing them out time and time again. Showing why they've only let in three goals this whole season. Yeah, their defense has really been their calling card all year. That's starting to slip away. Maybe the confidence starting to get away from them after a little bit of a demoralizing first half. Absolutely. Humber with the pressure will kick it out, and it'll be a throw-in for Sheridan. Perhaps a chance for Sheridan here as the bump ball fumbles around in Humber's own end only to be launched into the crowd, almost hitting somebody. Correa playing that one out. She'll have a light touch with the ball and allow herself another pass forward, only to be knocked out by the Sheridan player. This will be a quick throw from Humber around midfield, and that's a whistle by the ref. A lot of hollering going on right where the play is. I think Humber and Sheridan might be getting closer and closer to a tussle, so ref perhaps just having a word with the players so they can knock it off. Yeah, trying to just settle things down here. We know when you know pressure's on and a lot of emotions, things can get out of hand, but a referee's doing a good job keeping things in check here. Keeping things civil, and especially when it's these two teams. Sheridan and Humber have such a history of rivalry that you can't help but think that there's some bitterness between them. Oh, absolutely. They've certainly had some battles. Ball moves towards the keeper. She'll scoop it up, play it safe. Why not? Sheridan wanted a foul there. Won't get it. Keeper walks it out. Might as well take your time. We're up a goal. Launches it past midfield. Contacts with no bodies, but Sheridan will regain control in their own end. Feels the pressure by Humber only to have it kicked forward. 
Nice little block by Humber to allow another player to get to the ball. Well, Philip couldn't clear it out. Sheridan finally applying some consistent pressure, but they give up the ball as soon as I say that. Yeah, Zanardi will just send it away. Trying to break up the pressure there. Sometimes it's better to just ice it to get rid of that pressure. A lot of sprinting up and down the field for both teams as they both continually lob it into each other's end. Yeah, both these teams still just trying to battle for momentum here in the second half. And Humber losing a little ground. And that'll be a free kick for Humber. I believe that was offside. Ref having a word with the goalkeeper. The free kick will be taken by the goalkeeper, and why not? She's got a serious kick on her. Heavy punt deep into Sheridan's end, and that might be an opportunity for Humber. Yeah, Correa's got a chance here. Ooh, good scoop. Stushnov had the good idea there to go into the middle, trying to go for that ball. Good ball control by Humber. Back into familiar territory of being deep in Sheridan's end, they will continue to maintain ball control and have possibly a chance. No call for the slide tackle there. Ball lobbed deep into Humber's end. The keeper runs to get back. And that girl Ooh. is down on Humber, but no call once again. Humber's coming up, or Sheridan, excuse me, coming up with men on the attack. Kicked wide. The goalkeeper will take a nice leisurely walk to grab it for a goal kick. Substitu substitution for the Bruins here. Melanie Jubinville checking in for Selena Barnard. Nice little kick up to the Humber player, but they'll feel the pressure and they'll knock it out just below midfield for the Sheridan throw in. Just about 60 minutes done this one. Still a lot of soccer left to be played here tonight. But the momentum is slow going. A lot of back and forth, a lot of sprinting. I imagine these girls are getting pretty tired on both sides. Yeah, and that kind of play certainly works more in favor of Humber since they are up. A lot of Sheridan supporters here tonight. At least more vocal. The rivalry felt on uh, all sides of the bench here. <laughs> Humber with control coming across midfield. It's Batten. And that'll be offside for Humber. Yeah, yeah Stashnov was away on the races there, but a little too good to be true there. And she was just a few steps offside. Aaliyah Spence ready to check back into this one. Clint Blamer, she was a Chance huge here. part of the offense. And that's a scoop by Humber. Once again, playing it safe. We'll walk it out. No, I'm sorry, roll it to her defenseman. Yes, Fiore is so good uh, positionally. It just went right into her chest. No mistake there. But a little bit of a surprise to go for the roller there as opposed to knocking it out down the field. Mm. Fiori only letting in six goals across five games so far. 
That's going to be Sheridan Ball. Both teams move into position for an incredibly offensive blast from uh, mid-midfield in the Humber end. Keeper's about a third of the way down the field for Sheridan, so not about not kitchen sink time yet, but getting there. Sure, he's going to have to fight for that one. Oh, man, defense there. That'll be a goal for Sheridan. And the crowd erupts as well as the bench. Humber a little frustrated as they walk back to their positions. Hopefully not too demoralized after that one. They've been playing real well up to that point. Absolutely. They've been controlling the ball for the most part in the second half. Yeah, just one real defensive slip up happened right now. Other than that, they've been real solid. And hopefully they can rebound here. They should certainly have confidence in their ability to pull, turn this around and get another goal. Brianna Senfer. Excuse me, Brianna Senfner checking into that one. Rebecca Spratt coming out. Leah Spence also checking back in. Humber immediately coming out running. Not wishing for this to end in a tie. And man, Feesby has been so good on the back line. Integral. For Sheridan. Integral is a word that comes to mind. Yeah, they've just had a real tough time navigating their way past her. Seems like every time they've got that outlet pass away, she's right on there. And even if this one stays tied, I think she might be player of the match. I wouldn't be surprised. Willing to really put herself in any position to make sure the play is made. Humber fights for dominance in Sheridan's end, but it'll be passed back to Sheridan goalkeeper. Race there. Oh, Spence. She's got support too. But she can't beat Feesby and she's knocked off the ball and the ball is knocked wide. And that'll be still in, stopping just short of the line. Yeah, I think she was hoping that'd roll out of bounds. Not a bad strategy if it works. Just didn't have enough power on that ball. Sheridan definitely slowing down a little bit, trying to wait for Humber to make a mistake. Humber will touch the ball first, only to have Sheridan pick it back up. Ooh, Zanardi almost took away the ball. She'll trip over the Sheridan midfielder. Sheridan coach is not happy with some of the calls here tonight. Making their opinions hurt to the referees. No comment, Andrew. Humber with a chance. Shot wide, that'll be a goal kick. Yeah, tough angle there for Sefner. That'll lead to a goal kick. Dangerous one there, Correa with it. Can she come up with something here? This might cost Sheridan. And already going for goal, but that was blocked. Not a bad chance to take. Sheridan launches it into Humber's end. Sheridan with the speed, but Humber with the control and the touch. They'll regain control and begin walking the ball back up to the center. It'll fly past center to the Sheridan goalkeeper. Pass two Humber players to meet Humber defense. Ooh, Phillip gives it away. She's going to try and get back. She's out of position. She'll rush back to make it. Pushes Sheridan player off the ball, regains control. She's a tank. And oh, also she's so good. She's so good. Semfner will just clear it out. 
Humber not playing as aggressive after that goal by Sheridan. You would think it would be the other way around. Ball still saying mostly in Sheridan's end. Yeah, but most of that possession has just been at midfield. Yeah, like Humber just kind of dumping it in. A bad giveaway there. Humber's been making some quick plays to get rid of the ball, and it's been costing them a little bit. Yeah, and there hasn't been too much communication between the players either. I think that's a definitely really hurting them. Humber with a little bit of a laneway here. Oh, nice through ball there, but just Kent gets past get Spence. It. Like the effort there by Correa. Back to midfield. Humber with the touch, but they'll, well, they'll retain control. Keeper coming all the way out, almost getting stopped by the Humber offense just to make sure that the ball launches deep into Humber territory. Another chance snuffed out there by Feesby. Oh, Piazza almost comes up with that. Tangled up, but she will win the call. It's going to be a free kick. Much to the explosion of the Sheridan bench. Vocal, but you know what? You got to give a coach credit for going to bat for their players time and time again. Yeah, players remember that. Free kick is good. Spence battling for it. Almost a handball there, but no call. Sheridan with the offensive attack. Only to have Humber take it back, only for Feesby to launch it back up to the forward. Let's see if they could turn this into a chance. Humber gets the touch, moving it away from the Sheridan offense. Sheridan moves it deeper, close to the box, but Humber will regain control and move it back towards center. Ooh, Ooh. bad scuff by Sheridan. Completely whiffed on the ball. Oh, Correa completely missed that one. And we've seen that a couple of times tonight where she completely jumps with her leg up for the ball and just unfortunately misses it. Sheridan sideline, absolutely irate. Irate is they, a way to put it. Yeah, they think that there was a missed call there, calling for the jersey pull. Referee didn't see it, though. Zempfner trying to battle for it. Just knock it down. Correa going after it, trying to beat it before it goes out of bounds. And she'll get there. Yeah, didn't quite make it. But Feesby's on her, and Feesby's deadly. Ooh, just past Spence. Real opportunity there, but Humber's not done with the pressure. Sheridan with control, but the pressure is high. They'll move it up to midfield. Stushnov getting ready to come on for the Hawks. Just under 20 minutes left to go in this one. Still anybody's game, tied 1-1. Comes down to defensive mistakes at this point and bad offensive choices. Because both teams playing a very solid, safe defensive game. Yeah, it's more of each team kind of waiting for the other one to make the first mistake. Not necessarily a bad idea, Andrew especially when it's against your biggest rivals and arguably the people you'll be playing in the playoffs anyways. Yeah, absolutely. Humber with ball control. Zempfner trying to go after that one. Just 
Humber taking their time to maintain the ball. Here comes Humber. Zanardi battling her way through. She's she free. Through, but it's Feesby, and Feesby's got the speed and the reach. That Feesby is a dangerous one. Her name keeps coming up for a reason. If she wasn't back there, arguably would have been a couple more Humber points on the board. More than a few, I'd argue. Yeah, she's taking away some quality scoring chances from the Hawks. And the Sheridan coach is going to get a warning by the referee. He's quite heated. Though in comparison to the first game, I'll be honest, nothing comparing. First game was much more vocal. But perhaps... Paul? No, go on. But perhaps these refs just not willing to take any of that this game. No. Nope. Referee threatening to throw out Paul Angelini, 23-year head coach of this team. One more word as quoted by the ref. Okay, they've been giving the referee and that linesman on their side quite the earful. Corner kick by Humber. Knocked out. Sheridan getting ahead on that ball. Humber to touch it. Still retaining control. Here's a chance. And that's a goal! That is a goal, thank you very much. Humber erupts. There was a feeling of stasis there. You could feel it in the crowd. You could feel it on the bench. Is this going to be a repeat of game one? And perhaps not, Andrew. Perhaps not. Perhaps not. Zanardi coming through, the fourth all-time leading scorer in Humber history, coming through clutch there. And here's the replay. There's the cross, beautiful arc there. Just a light little touch. Doesn't take much when you're that close in front of the net, and she will put it center right. Yeah, perfect cross into the box by Sempner, and a perfect strike by Zanardi to take a 2-1 lead here for the Humber Hawks. And now it's going to be all about defense here in these final 16 minutes. And you can feel the electricity, Andrew. The team has come alive. It's not this doom and gloom feeling as if they're going to lose. Things can still happen. We still have 15 minutes in the game plus a little extra time. But you can feel it. These girls are ready to get a couple more. Yeah, as long as these ladies keep the lines of communication open, I think they'll be just fine, though. And once again, we got another small little shot on net there, only to be scooped up by the Sheridan goalkeeper past midfield. Sheridan's got to start making moves right now. Yeah, no time to dilly-dally for the Bruins. Time to get something done if you're them. Zanardi trying to go for it again, maybe. Sheridan back in their own end with the ball. They'll kick it back to the keeper. We should mention that's Zanardi's 25th goal as a Humber Hawk in her fourth this season, adding to her impressive resume. Mild attempted a bicycle kick there by Paisea. Piazza. Get an ace for style points there. Who doesn't like to bend it like Beckham? <laughs> Humber adding more and more pressure in the Sheridan end, but they'll kick it out to midfield for a Humber throw in just past center. The Humber offense back alive and well by the looks of it. They want to press for another. Good ball control on Sheridan's part as it comes down. They have a lot of players on their team who just have that magic light touch. Yeah, that could be so dangerous. Especially on a pitch where a lot of the players are probably struggling with that 
slickness as it did rain earlier today and we are dealing with a rubber turf. Humber maintaining pos uh, uh, pressure in the Sheridan end. Yeah, doing a good job of that all night. That Sheridan keeper has been playing the ball a lot, which on one hand doesn't seem like a lot, but it's really keeping Sheridan from attacking if, if she's the one with the ball. Humber definitely did their homework. You have to, especially against a team so good as Sheridan. Throw in for Sheridan just past midfield. Madison Roberts about ready to check in for the Bruins. And who's this coming off? You got to be worried about players with braids. I don't know what it is. They just play well. Mariana Defina coming off. Yeah, something about those braids. Rebecca Spratt's got them. She does quite well with them. That's a heavy kick off a of Humber back, but Humber will maintain control as they begin to push offensively past midfield. There's Spence with a little bit of a breakaway, but here's Feesby. What can Spence do? S oh. That's a bit of a scuff, unfortunately. Just too much speed and to maintain control. Yeah, she knew that Feesby was right on her tail and just kind of tried to force that ball, went a little too wide at the post. We're still up 2-1. Spence, Spence back with it. Spence directly the ball, but there's Feesby right in her face. So Fee uh, Spence will pass it. That was a gift and a half for the Hawks there. Corner kick. We're sitting 78 minutes, 32 seconds. Sheridan's got to get this ball in a humber end. Not only that, but score. And they have been having trouble getting this anywhere near Humber's box. Yeah, not too much sand left in that hourglass. That'll be a cross off the head and out. Sheridan goal kick. Sheridan aware of how little time they have. They got to press through the legs of the Sheridan player, and that's going to be a breakaway. Feesby, though, with the speed. Oh, my God, so much game sense. And the game will slow right down in the box as a little bit of footsies is played. But there's the shot, and another, and it's quite wide. Another goal kick for Sheridan. Yeah, I'm going to call Feesby the Terminator because just how much of a lockdown defender is. She's just got that fire in her eyes when she's got that uh, offensive player coming on her. Just so good at getting back and taking control of the play. I mean, we can talk about her kicks. We can talk about how she, she'll sacrifice her body for the ball. But it's really this brain that she's playing with where she can really see where the ball is going and is two, three steps ahead of the other players. That makes for such a critical defense woman. Yeah, definitely a lot of, definitely some high soccer IQ there. And she's working that brain hard as Humber <laughs> continues to attack relentlessly. Humber not one of those teams to rest on their laurels. More, more one of those teams that if they smell blood in the water, they will continue to attack endlessly. Certainly a mentality I've heard from the coaches where they basically want the other team to quit. Yeah, that's it. Just keep applying that pressure. Good things will happen. We're not playing high school ball here. No. We're playing competitive college. Humber passes it back in an attempt to maintain control, but will lose it from a rushing Sheridan player. Yeah, I think there was a little bit of a miscommunication there by Carvalho and the other Humber player. They'll get the throw in, though. And we have less than nine minutes left in this match. Feesby with the speed and the control. She'll knock it off the Humber player so Sheridan can have a goal kick. That's going to be a free kick. A 
little bit wide there, and Sheridan can't get there in time to maintain control, and that'll be a throw-in deep in Sheridan's end. Yeah, a few of those of the training staff there in the Humber tent had to move out of the way of that one. So that ball just got away from the Bruins. Working for Humber Sports Network is a bit of a liability to your health, as you experienced earlier today, Andrew. Just the Hawks in general. You never know what's going to happen. Look at that cross. Is it in? Ooh. Nope. That's a great catch by Sheridan. Good awareness of ball. And she'll launch it past midfield. Only, yeah, only to be retained control by Humber. But Sheridan's on top of it. There will be a trip for a free kick for Sheridan. Feesby's going to take it. And why not? She's got powerful legs. From midfield to the box, into the keeper's arms. Yeah, Sheridan attacker saw a little bit of daylight there. Fiore waves the finger, or wags the finger rather, and says, no, 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 not there. I mean, we've talked a lot about uh, Sheridan's goalkeeper and their kicks and Feesby's kicks, but let's give it up for Fiore, who has just an absolute tank of a leg on her. Yeah, we haven't had to mention her too much, though, here today. Will that roll out of bounds? Not no, quite. stop just short. Sheridan coach is telling the players to hurry it up. Ooh, just stays in. Maintains, can Sheridan maintains control? Ooh. Linesman said no. That'll be a free kick. Yes, that will be. Ref moving it deeper and deeper for this kick. I think some of the Sheridan players are a little confused by this call. I'm certainly confused by this call. Because it certainly looked like it went off. It, it looked like it went out of bounds, but one would think that would be a throw-in. Yeah, obviously the ref saw a foul there. That's a lob to the center of the box. Just over Spence's, Spence's head. head. Mm -hmm. Jinx Yomi Soda. Sheridan goal kick. And unfortunately, I think we're seeing Sheridan's goalkeeper getting tired as that's probably the 30th or 40th kick that she's had to do this game. The leg can't keep up. Yeah, when you're expected to kick those, or blast those kicks rather, I should say, down the field 30, 40 times, that starts to wear on you. She's been playing a lot this game too as, once again, Humber's had a lot of control and has shot a lot on net. I'd say she's had 10 to 15 saves this whole game. Probably about right. And from our stats collector, we find out she's had actually six, which means broadcasters can't be trusted. Uh, six, ten, close enough. Six, ten, fifteen. They're all numbers. Stofsten <laughs> trips over the ball, giving it up to Sheridan. Sheridan with the breakaway, possible goal, and they'll get it. Oh, Tied up 2-2 wow. with 85 minutes and 30 seconds in the game. Are you bleeping kidding me? It looks like we might have the same narrative again, but Humber is not down and out. Perhaps we'll walk away with a tie. Sheridan player down. We see a, uh, a medical helper assisting. Mariana Defina about ready to come back into this one. Fiore ga gathering her players, trying to f fire them up here. This game ain't over by a long shot. No. We'll probably see two extra minutes on the clock if I was a betting man. I thought you were going to say two extra goals. Like, Whoa. <laughs> no. <laughs> I hope not. 
Maybe. It certainly has been a crazy night. Sheridan player still down. Are we going to see her carried off the field? Yeah, yes, we will. will. Oh, that's not good to see. It isn't. Hopefully she's okay. But unlike the men's, the Sheridan, uh, the, the, or just the uh, O. Uh, CAA women's soccer are no whiners. They are not floppers. And when they're down, they're actually hurt. That's a good point. Sheridan uh, fans using that patented lung capacity to scream their hearts out for their lovely ladies. Can't say I blame them, especially when it looked like this game wasn't going to be theirs. Going for the double victory here, Sheridan. Hawks might have something to say about that, but the Sheridan applying the pressure here. Oh. Off of Humber back. Ball control by Humber. Still in their end, though. Got to get it out. Sheridan stops it just short of midfield, and they'll continue their attack forward. Revitalized by this recent goal. Humber making some questionable ball touches as they just desperately want to get it out and end up just handing it back to Sheridan. Sheridan continues their attack. The ball is in the box, and Fiore will scoop it up. Let's see if the Hawks can get something going here. Because oh, someone fell in the box. There seems to be a conflict. Yellow card. Fiori having a word with the ref. AJ, who did, you, did you catch uh, who the foul was on? Yeah, it looks like the yellow card went to Piazza. Is that the first or the second card of the game? I believe that was the second. Oh, that was the first. Sheridan with the continued attack. Their hearts strengthened by the recent goal. Let's see if they can push the pressure, but that's going to be another foul. Are we going to see a card? That's a hard foul there. I think the ref's going to reach for one. Oh, no, it looks like he's going to not reach for a card. Perhaps he'll put it away. Sheridan demands a card, but they won't get it. 90th minute. Oh, boy. Oh, most. Just a little bit of drop on that ball, and that would have been a goal. Sheridan looking real scary here in these last few moments we're of this at, one. We're at the 89th minute with a team that seems to have not played any of the game at all. They have all the energy in the world and all the, all the motivation to score again. This game's getting real aggressive here. Players got to be careful. This is the game I was expecting all along. A lot of jockeying, a lot of aggressiveness like we saw in the men's, but I guess it had to take until we were down to the wire for them to start Playing with purpose, if we'll call it that. It's a good way to put it. We're just about at the 90-minute mark, but you just know we're going to get a few extra minutes of injury time. As there have been two injuries. Good ball control by Sheridan. Phillip doing a good job stopping that. She's an absolute tank in the back line. Humber with the pressure off the Sheridan player. That's going to be a throw deep in their end. Chances running out here for either team to score. Let's see if Humber can break through. Man. And that is a goal kick for Sheridan. It'll be a bittersweet tie for both teams, probably more so for Humber as they had maintained the lead multiple times throughout this match. Yeah, you could tell they really want, really want. And we've just got word that there's three additional minutes. Yeah, so still a couple minutes left to go. Even after that, it's game's not really over until the referee says so. It's up to his discretion. So we're sitting with Pretty with two minutes left. Humber with a possible chance here. They got to apply the speed, and Feesby will just knock it out safely. Yeah, more of what we've seen from her tonight. 
She's just an absolute beast there on that back line. Oh my, you doing see it that again. Leaping header. Once again, not afraid to hurt herself to get what needs to be done on the ball. Throw in from midfield, shared inside. Humber. Spence deep with the cross. Sheridan goalkeeper will catch it. Walk it forward gingerly. Not a lot of urgency. Entering the final minute here. Lob to midfield. Let's see what Sheridan and Humber can do. First touch by Humber through the legs of a Sheridan player. Oh, Carvalho wins Contact. that one. Stushnoff. Let's see what she can do. Trying to be as difficult to beat, but oh, just can't get past her. Almost did, though. Arguably 40 seconds left. Up to the Sheridan player. Touched by Humber back to midfield. It's Medeiros. Medeiros with fantastic control. Oh, Carvalho's got lane. Chips it in. Across, Spence. Spence not able to get there in time, passes it back. But Humber continues this attack. Oh, oh my goodness, that was so close. Oh my God. Just by the hairs on her chinny chin chin, I mean her fingertip tips. That'll be a corner kick. Yeah, just when we thought we've seen it all here today. Wow. Sheridan coach saying to play this one shoulder to shoulder, not wanting to give any of the Humber players their space. Go in. And that's a goal! Oh, with seconds to spare, Humber launches it in. That's a 3-2 game. Sheridan's going to have to have an act of God to come back on this one. Oh, my God. Act of God might be the right way to put it. Stushnoff just in the nick of time. Oh, my God. The Humber, the Humber side is elated. You can see it on the girls' faces. Sheridan looking a little dejected, walking like sailors who have been at sea for 10 years. They're exhausted. They've been playing their hearts out only to have a small error cost them the game, potentially. Potentially. Not over until the referee blows those. But we're in the yeah, 94th minute, that's and it. that's it. Humber has won the game. What a match, Andrew. I didn't think we were going to see a win here. I thought Sheridan might complete the cycle from game one. And yet, here we are. Humber stuck with it. Great ball control. Great offensive pressure. Great defense. All I can say. Oh, I'm just so happy for these Humber ladies. Just went out there, really put it all on the line. Played a great game from top to bottom. Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to be seeing a replay right now, courtesy of Humber Sports Network. Here's the header. This is the first goal off the fingertips and in. Sheridan goalkeeper did everything she could. I mean, we have to give it up for the Sheridan goalkeeper. She was under so much pressure all game. And to hold them only to three points, yeah, she, she was tested all night long, and you also got to hand it out to Feesby there on the back line for the Bruins. Kept this one tight all night long. Just doing a great job stuffing out a lot of chances there. This one could have been a lot uglier of a ball game. That's the second goal, I believe, right there. Crossing it over and in. That's Feesby crossing it up to the Sheridan player. Sheridan with the breakaway. Nice catch there. different angle off the head the light touch from Sheridan the scoop from Fiore Fiore also playing out of her mind today yeah that play there it might not look like it was too tough but she was moving backwards really had to guess where that ball was going and managed to get that ball right in her chest great play there there's the Sheridan second goal yeah just really a bad defensive breakdown there by the Hawks. And just Sheridan taking advantage. Fiori a little out of position to accommodate, and they get the pass across the net and in. You see it a thousand times, you see it a thousand more. Yeah, Fiori clearly frustrated about that one. She played the best game that she could, and her offense bailed her out in the end. Yeah, and there's one of the goals there. Zanardi really coming through there. Perfect. Uh, cross there by Sentner. 
Then perfect, uh, perfect shot by Zanardi in the box. Here's the Sheridan goal to tie. Bang, top corner. We're gonna, get, we're gonna get another look at it. Can't really ask for more at a professional level. Just above her reach. Maybe if she'd been able to get a good leap underneath, but that was uh, that was perfectly placed by Sheridan. Yeah, just a sneaky shot there. Didn't have too much power, it just kind of floated over Fiore and she was just not ready for that one. Here's another look. This is the winner right here. And you can see the girls losing their mind. This game means so much to defeat Sheridan. Once again, touching on the rivalry, there's no other team that Humber needs to beat more than Sheridan to show that they're worth something. Oh, yeah. Grudge match was the word I used off that men's game. Just Here we see the stats for the game. I mean, 21 attempts. Sheridan only going up three more attempts from the first half. Uh, nine on target, six on target for Sheridan, eight. Uh, corner kicks, four for Sheridan. Once again, the Sheridan's, Sheridan not really increasing those stats from the first half, but still having an amazing defense. Yeah, that's really their defense, their MO, just hmm. their calling card playing a real strong defensive game. And coming into this one, only allowed a couple goals, and they were allowed in one game. So, you know, they're definitely a lot to contend with back there, but just had a little bit of trouble creating offense. And that really did them in tonight. Absolutely, Andrew. Now, from myself... And Andrew and everyone here at the Humber Sports Network, I want to say thank you for tuning into this game, and that'll be all from us.